we were a house full of debaters and opinions and laughter and conversation and music. And, um, yeah, and then it just suddenly went very, very quiet. What was it the locals called you? It was You were very tiny oh, yes. girl and you had a huge horse. Yes, the little girl on the big white horse, that's right, because I used to <laughs> ride around into the villages and into the hills and things. It was wonderful. We we did, I mean, they were very, very nice to me. And even though I think I was sometimes probably a bit of a rotter. And uh, yes, and I mean, the dread of the holidays coming to an end was a very big thing. It, it sounds utterly idyllic. Mm. It, do you think it's maybe your memory playing tricks with you or was it really that wonderful? It's difficult, isn't it? Because I'm looking back on something that was just before the most terrible thing in the world. All of a sudden, this great big plume of black smoke came up and there had been a screeching, very loud shrieking of brakes as the pilot tried to put the brakes on. There was a drop at the end of the runway, a 30-metre drop, and, I mean, the pilot did everything right, but, of course, he had no control and it veered around in the grass and then it fell off this cliff at the end and split open and, and of course caught fire because it had full fuel tanks. Caroline ran the wrong way, she ran down the hill where the fuel was going. The other friend ran up the hill and was all right. We were two families, we had two lives, so in a sense when they went, we went as well. That old us went and we had to find a new, um, a new way of, well, who we were. Hello Mummy and Daddy and Harriet, thank you for a lovely holiday. I loved being at Langana and I loved all the long rides we had. We don't forget you. We're always thinking of you. Bye-bye. Because of how I was brought up and this emphasis on, well, just understanding about grief, bereavement, compassion, kindness and things like that, so I was very driven to make... to bring my children up to... One, to understand and talk freely about death and things like that. That, that event absolutely and utterly channelled my life. Each of these links, they're a living link with my sisters, mm -hmm. and it's those connections, anyone who's even a sort of tangential thing, it just makes it a little bit closer, which is why I like going back to Ethiopia, although it's always emotionally very mm. difficult. But actually it's really good because I, in my private moments, I feel I'm close to them. The air smells the same, um, and it's a real connection. It's keeping the connection alive because that's where they, we all were last. 